In this video, we are going to look at the rack setup for a back squat, specifically the high bar back squat. So these are the J cups, as it's shaped like a J, and this is the upright section of the J cup. So we call them the uprights. Now standing side on, I want the barbell just below the top of my shoulder. So when I stand at the bar, it's across the top of my chest. That's specifically for the high bar back squat. So when I take the barbell off on the top of my traps, it's going to be around this height. Therefore, when I walk it in, it hits the uprights and we come down. That's really important when it comes to safety. If I were to be performing a low bar back squat, which is two to three inches lower on the back, obviously I might take the J-cups down. We don't want to be coming up onto our tiptoes to put the barbell back and we don't want to be getting right underneath to take it off the rack. And it's going to be really hard to get it back on. So let's have a look at that. It's on my upper traps, not on the back of my neck. From there, I stand underneath the barbell. I lift it up with the legs. From there, it's a short walkout. We don't have to walk half a mile backwards. It's just going to waste energy and risk injury. We set up into position. From there, we perform the squats. Once the squats are finished, we walk the barbell in, hit the uprights in a squatting stance. So we don't have to do this. As I'm pushing this side in, the other side's going away. I'm also at risk of straining my neck if I've got heavy loads on the back. Simply walk the barbell in, hit the uprights, take it down, you know you're safely on the rack. If we don't hit the uprights, and we simply bring it to this position, you have a risk of hitting the edge of the J-cup and falling, which we don't want, especially when working with heavy loads.